There is a hot little rumor floating around online that the invincible Ilya Dragunov may be finding himself a spot in Imperium on Monday Night Raw. I love this idea. I love Ilya Dragunov. So if this were to come to fruition, here is how I would fantasy book it. Guys, before we get into this video, I gotta remind you to hit that join button down below. We got channel memberships here on the No Nation Wrestling channel, and it will give you bonus videos, exclusive videos, only for channel members. I believe our next channel member video is gonna drop Sunday or Monday, so hit that join button down below so you don't miss out on that bonus content. Now, of course, take this rumor with a grain of salt, right? And I really don't dive into rumors like that much. Like, I'll read a headline here and there. You know, I try not to dig too deep into stuff because I don't want to spoil too much stuff. I'm kind of like 50-50. I certainly don't care care about like backstage politics and like people's like their per like the wrestlers real lives and personal lives like I just care about what's going on and it's going to affect creative on television that's all I really focus on but even that I only focus on like 50% of it but this had my interest and I had to talk about it Ilya Dragunov former NXT United Kingdom champion the man mind you who ended Walter aka Guther and his uh NXT United Kingdom championship reign of like 870 days I want to say so there is some history there so the idea of Ilya Dragunov joining Imperial I absolutely love that idea. I think he would fit in like a glove. Of course, Imperium at one time did have a fourth member in Alexander Wolf. He is no longer with the WWE. Ilya Dragunov taking that spot. No disrespect to Alexander Wolf. Certainly an upgrade and certainly would be a fine addition to Imperium. So there's two ways, and it's really it's the same way, just in different time spans. And I would go about this in my little fantasy booking. Because again, I really would love to see this happen. And it's really all revolving around if they have decided if Guther is going to break the honky tonk man's reign as as the Intercontinental Champion. Now, let me just say, and no disrespect to the Honky Tonk Man, but like, if there's anybody who should be breaking a reign right now with all with between Roman Reigns and Bianca Belair and Gunther with all these long championship reigns, it's obviously Gunther in the Intercontinental Championship. Again, no disrespect to the Honky Tonk Man and his 400 something day reign, but it's the Honky Tonk Man. So, like, I would not be, you know, upset if Gunther holds the title till I believe I have the date. Somewhere November 9th on my computer would be when he breaks the date and becomes the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion. I wouldn't mind that, and of course, of all time. I think right now they're calling him like the longest reigning champ of the modern era. I really don't even know what the modern era means, but like <laughs> what years that specifies. But like, I would not mind him holding the belt till then. And again, my, my situation of fantasy booking would really be the same. It's just a matter of if they want, want him to break that record. But realistically, I would probably just have him break that record and then kind of kick off, if you will, this fantasy booking around there after there you guys get what i mean however there is a great spot for Ilya dragunov to make his main roster debut and i wouldn't even wait that long you know money in the bank first weekend of july i believe it's like july 2nd or 3rd it's not 4th of july it's one of those dates it's going to be in london money in the bank it's going to be great right what better spot and i know Ilya dragunov's from russia but obviously former nxt united kingdom champion just fits like a glove what better spot for Ilya dragunov to make his main roster debut a part of monday night raw than in london at money in the bank it's similar to what they did with oscar when when she was debuting on Monday Night Raw. She actually made her main roster debut, I believe it was the TLC pay-per-view, to become a part of Monday Night Raw. It's kind of do the same thing with Ilya Dragunov. Have him make his debut at Money in the Bank, and I would hype it up for weeks in advance, video packages showcasing who Ilya Dragunov is, because we're certainly going to have him be a big deal on the main roster. And then at Money in the Bank, you send him in there with somebody who he can have a killer just showcase match with. You know, JD McDonough, I think, would be a great option. He looks like he's going to be possibly joining the Judgment Day soon. They've already planted the seeds for that on Monday Night Raw, so I guess it's definitely happening, which I love that move as well. JD McDonough versus Ilya Dragunov would be great. Hell, any of the Judgment Day, you could put in a singles role against Ilya Dragunov night one. That's just an idea. I was just looking up and down the Monday Night Raw roster, seeing what names really stuck out as like, that would be a banger match to not only for the opposer, but also Ilya Dragunov to get a good showcase. Finn, Dominic, I think would be great. Damian Priest, JD McDonough, throw him in there, Brunson Reed, like even just throw him in there with anybody from Monday Night Raw and have that just debut uh, showcase match, if you will. And of course, have Ilya Dragunov go over in his first match in the main roster. And then again, from here, you could really either just speed up the whole storyline and kick this off, you know, SummerSlam or September or something like that. Or you can wait till Survivor Series time, have Guther break the Intercontinental Championship reign, which again is probably what I would do. And then we kind of really move in to what I would fantasy book here. And to be perfectly honest, just as a side note, if Ilya Dragunov's going to join Imperium, I don't expect them to wait all the way till nearly the end of the year like I'm fantasy booking here but there's a specific reason why I'm waiting till November to do this move and you'll, you guys will see in a second so really you could just have fun with Ilya Dragunov through July through August September 
build them up as a legit Intercontinental Championship number one contender in October. And just really, again, like I said, have fun with them. Give a couple of TV feuds, maybe give them another pay-per-view match. Don't need to go too crazy. Just keep them strong on Monday Night Raw weekly get in victories and just build them up as a legit threat on that brand. Have Gunther break the Intercontinental Championship reign on November 9th and then roll into Survivor Series where Gunther would go one-on-one -on -one with Ilya Dragunov who has not yet joined Imperium for the Intercontinental Championship. And at Survivor Series, which of course would be after November 9th, probably what's it? it's always like the Sunday before Thanksgiving, Ilya Dragunov would defeat Gunther to become the Intercontinental Champion. Lightning Strike twice, the same guy who ended Walter's NXT United Kingdom Championship legendary reign is also the same guy who ends Gunther's legendary Intercontinental Championship reign. Poetry in motion, Ilya Dragunov defeats Gunther at Survivor Series for the Intercontinental title. And through that loss, and through obviously the history, because you of course are going to acknowledge their history in NXT UK, which then bled over to NXT, during this setup of this program for Survivor Series. So through that loss, Ilya Dragunov becoming the Intercontinental Champion, Gunther basically gains respect for Ilya Dragunov. There is a mutual respect between these two guys because they've had absolute wars in NXT and now on Monday Night Raw. And then I think you guys see where I'm headed. It's very simple booking. Gunther, through that mutual respect, offers Ilya Dragunov a spot in Imperium. And maybe Ilya Dragunov's got a couple of guys in his corner telling him, you know, you don't want to join these guys. You don't trust them. Don't do, don't do that. They're going to turn their back on you. This, that, and the other. And then the shock is Ilya Dragunov actually does end up after a couple weeks of buildup joining Imperium, whether that's like the end of the year or whatever you want to do. And then my vision in my mind, because, you, you know, Gunther holding the Intercontinental Championship once he loses that, he is going right to the main event scene. Like, he's never going to need to hold the Intercontinental title or the United States title again. Unless, you know, of course, they they want to, but he's never going to need to. Once he drops that Intercontinental title, Gunther's going right to the main event. And I've speculated in recent videos that Gunther very well, whether he's the champion or the challenger, may end up in the World Heavyweight title match come WrestleMania 40 next year. And if this were the case, you could absolutely have that work out. I picture a Monday Night Raw where Ilya Dragunov is the Intercontinental Champion. Even Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, they would need to start winning some matches first, but even, even them, those two guys who I freaking think are great, especially Giovanni Vinci, are your undisputed tag team champions. And Gunther is your World Heavyweight Champion. And Imperium are ruling Monday Night Raw. Ilya Dragunov defeating Gunther and then joining the group kind of takes that mid-card role in Imperium and allows Gunther to go on to become the World Champion and be that main event star of the group. You got your main event guy, your mid-card, guy and your tag team it's literally like a modern day evolution in a sense if you will which i think you know obviously you can make your comparisons i'm not saying they're a direct comparison of evolution but how many years have people been calling for a new evolution stable to finally been made and through imperium through the addition of Ilya Dragunov of them holding on the gold, you can almost have your modern day evolution, if you will. Like imagine if it's the Raw after WrestleMania 40, Ilya Dragunov is still the Intercontinental Champion, Kaiser and Vinci are tag team champions, and whether he was the champ going in or the challenger and then won the title at Mania, Gunther walks out World Heavyweight Champion and the Raw after Mania at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, right across the street from the link, Imperium is all draped out in gold badass superstars made just by making that addition to the group and just by having them be dominant on Monday Night Raw. And of course, you can have a version of this anyway without Ilya Dragunov. It's just Gunther going on and winning the World Championship and then Kaiser and Vinci winning the tag team titles. But if you're going to add Ilya Dragunov to the group anyway, it kind of just makes the most sense. And again, as I mentioned earlier, I can really move this whole story up a couple of months and have Gunther drop the Intercontinental Championship to Ilya Dragunov in like August or September, something like that. But I mean, you're already so close and we're only... Well, it's it's just a honky tonk man again no disrespect but you might as well have guther break the rain you're already this close it's it's only november like and guther's the best out of all the champions right now in wwe i think it's obvious who the most enjoyable longest reign is between him roman bianca like it's guther so i don't think anybody's gonna have a problem if he holds the intercontinental championship up until november so he can break that uh, streak of the honky tonk man have the longest reign of all time and then move on to the main event scene that's what i'd love to see but Ilya dragunov debuting in london at money in the bank dethroning Gunther at Survivor Series for the Intercontinental Championship after you build him up strong for a couple of months, joining Imperium, and then eventually 2024, Imperium is just dominating Monday Night Raw. That is a money idea, and I hope we at least get some kind of version of that. And quite frankly, I hope we, I think we will. But I want to hear from you guys, man. What do you guys think of Ilya Dragunov coming up to the main roster, possibly joining Imperium? And let me say, as much as I love the idea, 
Ilya Dragunov doesn't need to join Imperium. Like, I think he will be fine. He'll be great on his own. But, like, he fits like a glove, right? It just makes the most sense. Especially when you really start thinking about Gunther going into the main event scene. He just adds another addition, makes Imperium that much more badass. He doesn't need it, but he certainly isn't going to be... It's not going to be a downgrade for him, is what I'm trying to say. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys want to see Ilya Dragunov come up to Raw and join Imperium? Or do you think he's fine without it? Guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at no nation vlogs and if you want more no nation wrestling content as i mentioned earlier hit that join button down below as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace